officer has been hurt. We do not know how badly. Um, but the, the chaos is, is uh, continuing on the streets of Brooklyn. Uh, Brian Yenis is there. Brian, perhaps you can fill us in on what's transpired there. Uh, all of a sudden, John, as I was speaking to you, the vehicle over here, the, first, the police cruiser was lit on fire, and uh, the police then had to move the line forward. What you just saw was an officer get hit in the head with a bottle, from what I can see, and he fell to the ground, he had a pull and barrel. This started two blocks away, and they were just at a standstill, and it has turned into just a complete... There are bottles flying from every direction, behind them and in front. The police right now are completely surrounded by, uh, by these protesters. Um, you can now see an ambulance trying to come into the situation. was a police helicopter overhead. They're going to be taking high-resolution video, and uh, they'll get a pretty good look at, at these people who are throwing the rocks and bottles. And, you know, presumably uh, some of these people could face charges down the line, even though they, they think they're getting away with it tonight. Uh, they're going to have high-resolution images of what's going on there on the ground. And, you know, as, as Jonathan Hunt has noted from Los Angeles, things are heating up in Los Angeles right now. And night hasn't fallen yet. That's when uh, the cockroaches tend to come out. And these protesters, if that's what you want to call them, um, that's when they tend to get emboldened. So, um, again, night is falling in New York City. Go ahead, Brian. I have, I have to just say, you know, we've been trying to follow the protests all day. They have been largely, largely peaceful here in New York City. This was the one hot spot that's been for the last couple of hours. It was just an intersection with about 150 to 200 protesters. Um, and it was a tense situation. They clearly wanted to get in front of the faces of the police. They wanted to agitate the police. And this has been on the radar for two hours now. I'm sorry, now the police are coming. Just look. We're gonna back up here, John. So, so anyway, so this was a this was a small group who had been in front of these police and standing off for about a couple of hours before we got here. And when they attacked those two NYPD vehicles, it was clear that this became something different. And I have to say, of that group, it wasn't all of them. There are those agitators who wanted to throw bottles and who started attacking the vehicle. And now everyone here, they wanted to start this. They incited it and, and it has started. And now the police find themselves in a situation where they're trying to protect a, a vehicle that's on fire as they bring in the fire department. You see that? They're trying to pick out the fire right now. At the same time, they're protecting these first responders. They're protecting these first responders as best they can. And you can tell that they try to pick out the fire here. Yeah. New York City.